Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FICO. Today's topic is down payment. Down payment, which basically means advanced payment in SAP. Advanced vendor or advanced from customers is termed as down payment. In SAP, down payments is also known as spatial GL indicators or spatial GL and transactions which are done for down payment are known as spatial GL transactions. Now elaborating on it, spatial GL transactions are spatial transactions in accounts receivable and accounts payable that are displayed separately in the general ledger and the sub ledger. This is achieved by posting to alternative reconciliation accounts instead of posting to the reconciliation accounts for receivables or payables. So it's a very important and sub part in SAP how we cover this down payment. Now normally down payment can be done through normal transactions as is done in other softwares but in SAP posting a down payment is done with two way outs. One is a down payment request and the second without down payment request. So today we'll be looking up in this is down payment to vendors and down payment from customers. Both have got their different customization more or less they are similar in nature how it has to be done but there is a slight difference among them. So moving up to next is the vendor down payment. Special GL indicators are used for posting vendor down payment. Advanced payment sorry spelling mistake advanced payment can be made in two ways one is down payment request is created and another is down payment without request now moving ahead have uh, discussing more on this the down payment transactions will be stored in the vendor account with special GL indicators. So to make down payments or to make advanced payments to the vendors we use a special GL indicator which is a one character indicator by which we can easily identify that that particular payment is an advanced payment or a normal payment. And the corresponding entry is posted in the alternative reconciliation account number. For this SAP defined the spatial general ledger indicator. Normally what we do is we assign a reconciliation ledger in the vendor master so that all the transactions which are taking place in the vendor account or the vendor master the value from that gets reflected in the GL account which has been assigned in the vendor master. That particular GL which is assigned in the vendor master is termed as the vendor reconciliation account. But when we move for the down payment or the advance payment, in that case we don't get that particular reconciliation account updated. We have a different alternative reconciliation account for that where all the down payments are posted on the other side. So for posting, special posting the vendor reconciliation account get replaced by the other account that is the alternative reconciliation account. Now moving up over here, the advanced payment can be made in two ways. One is down payment request. So down payment request what it is all about. In a more practical approach what happens normally is in case of accounts payable, 
materials are purchased so what is the total cycle in that from beginning to end is that first of all a purchase requisition is made from the MM module once the requisition is made and later on a PO is raised to the vendor now the PO that is the purchase order which has been raised to the vendor now will be delivering goods to you so this is the work of basically the material management department and they decide that to who which vendor the advance payment has to be made and how much it has to be made will it be a 40% advance payment or 20% advance payment or a 100% advance payment so from the material management department they create this down payment request so that the payment could be done to the vendors on the basis of the purchase order and on the basis of that payment the vendor then deliver the goods and the invoice is raised at a later date and the remaining balance is paid to the vendor so down payment request is created by the mostly by the mm that is the material management department and then that request down payment request goes from there for approval and from after approval it goes to the accounts department where the accounts department make the advance payment to the vendor so when you make a down payment request now a major concern questions are asked on this point that when you make a down payment this down payment a document is created and that is why this down payment request is called in SAP as noted items when you make a down payment request the down payment request is also known as noted items in SAP down payment request is posted as a single side entry in customer account that is only with the special GL indicator so it doesn't post an accounting entry in the system mind it it does not post any accounting entry in the system you will not find any balance update in any of the ledgers in the SAP system because it doesn't hit the value to any of the ledger account that is why I said the down payment request is posted as a single side entry that means it will have a one effect but it doesn't impact any of the ledger for that particular effect in the custom in the customer or the vendor so if you are making a vendor down payment request in that case the request will be created and a single side entry in the vendor account will be there only with special gel indicator now the down payment request can be converted into actual down payment or else we can reverse the entry by reversal option so you can cancel the request or you can reverse the request or the third last option is that the request can be approved and can be forwarded for actual down payment to the accounts department so this is very important part in any business where they want that the down payment request should be there so coming to the noted item a noted item is basically a special item that doesn't impact any account balance that is what the down payment request is when you post a noted item a document is generated the item can be displayed using the line item display that we will see when we'll be on the on the SAP system how so that is it moving to the next is the another way of making advance payment or the down payment to the vendor is normal down payment without any request that means the advance payment can be done by the accounts department in a very simple manner so for that is a normal kind of a payment uh, which can be done so this is how the vendor down payment is done or more or less the down payment in case of vendor or customer is more or less very much similar so moving to the next is the configuration steps because there is not much to discuss on this what we will be doing is we will first be creating an alternative reconciliation account that is what is over here creation of GL master now we will be creating a GL master with the name advanced to vendor account and after that we will be moving to the second step 
define alternative reconciliation account for vendor down payments a very simple two steps configuration and after that we can do the unit testing we can post number of different transactions and we'll see how the system performs on this so to create the GL master that is known as the advanced to vendor account we have to go to the same creation of GL or that is the ledger account FS00 so before moving let's have a more discussions on this up as a practical example in normal organizations what happens that they use down payment or they use a uh, special jail indicator for different purposes one is a down payment that is advanced payment against the management at times want clarifications that how much advanced payment has been made to your normal vendors that is the regular vendor how much advance payment has been done for capital asset purchase and how many advance payment has been done for to employees in a particular period of time so these are some of the practical questions which comes up when we work in any organization in a day-to-day -day activity and that is what the the care has to be taken over here apart from this even again if you have made any guaranteed deposits again for that we create a special jewel indicator for that or still if there is any kind of a security deposit for that matter or any kind of a bill of exchange these things are taken up in a special jewel indicator where a particular indicator is created suppose a or c d x y z any of them which you want and that particular indicator is given a name for example if i want my advance payment to be segregated at different levels like uh, there could be different level of advance payment one is a normal payment to the vendor like a normal day-to-day -day transactions of uh, with the vendors those payment the other payment could be that purchase of uh, heavy capital assets for which you need to make payments as an advance so again for that there could be a different indicator for making advance payment to the employees again you can have a different indicator so on the basis of these indicators the reporting becomes simpler and you can easily have simple reports which can easily uh, give you the status uh, within just a couple of seconds that how much advances have been done for a period on normal on day-to-day -day normal vendors or on capital vendors or for employees or maybe for uh, security deposits and XYZ so that is why this this particular special jewel indicator becomes very helpful for any organization now moving to the configuration first we'll be creating a GL account now I'm going to create not one but two GL account one uh, advanced vendor account I will be breaking them in two parts I will be creating advance to normal vendors and second is advanced to or more easily can be said as first advance to revenue vendors and advance to capital vendor because normally we purchase goods or we uh, as a revenue item which to be purchased and sold and another thing is we purchase uh, for capital goods so that can be named as a capital vendor so we will be creating two GL account now create two GL account one is advanced to revenue vendor and the another could be advanced to capital vendors so we'll be doing this 